Hello YouTube people, today I'm gonna show you around your oil cooler. You know this part of your engine, right? Is in charge obviously to cool your oil. As you can see, these holes in here, right? These two holes are when the oil pass, right? One is the inlet, the other is the outlet. And around here, there are O-rings. There are two O-rings, one on this side, one in, in the other side. This oil cooler belongs to a DD1513 engine, okay? And as you can see in the outer part, this part that you see here, okay? It is where, where the coolant is, all right? This all is, you know, submerged in coolant. This is, this part goes inside the oil filter mod, module, okay? When your truck has, for example, oil intrusion in the coolant system, this is one of the parts that might be the cause, all right? This is because these orange that you see in here, within the time, right? The heat make them really hard. So they don't seal properly anymore. So the first thing you need to look at it when you have like a, those kind of problems, right? Like you're saying, oh, I see my coolant reservoir is getting really dark, right? Like uh, if you open, the coolant cap and you put your finger inside and you find like a, there is oil intrusion on it this might be might be the cost all right many people ask me <clears throat> what if just the o-rings are the problem and not the whole panel not the whole not the whole cooler it might be it might be the case there's just the o-rings the problem but the bad thing is like, if you replace the O-rings, right? And it happens that the cooler is damaged, you will have to do the job twice, okay? So every time, at least, uh, the, every, every time that I remove these things, I always change O-rings and oil cooler because it's the best thing you can do. Because what is the point to do a job twice when you can do it just once? And pro this part, I believe it's not that expensive. So I suggest you to change it because many people say, oh, I can test it with the air. I can put some pressure on one side and, co and, and you know, plug the other one and see if there is a uh, submersion with water and put air and and it's, if there is no bubbles, it may be fine. Yeah, that might be the truth. But why are you gonna pay again for do the same job again? So it doesn't make any sense. So I suggest you, you know, to change oil cooler and O-rings. This is when you see oil intrusion in the coolant system, all right? There is other kind of intrusion, like coolant going to the oil, fuel going into the coolant. So this is just for that oil intrusion into the coolant system. So don't forget that you need to change everything. This is part of the oil filter module. You had to remove the whole thing. And usually you have to replace the gasket around the oil filter module, okay? So remember, this is the part that is completely submerged in coolant. And here, these holes is where the oil pass through, okay? So I hope you like this video. This is the way it works your oil cooler. And this is just for DD15s and DD13 or DD16 engines. But in general, oil coolers works like this it might be in an in another in, in, it might be another kind
but the job is the same okay is to cool your oil while your truck is running all right so thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions in the section down below and if i forget something i always leave a note in the description okay thank you and bye bye